Let's pray. Amen. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. I will go unto the altar of God, even unto the God of my joy and gladness. Give sentence with me, O God, and defend my cause against the ungodly people. O deliver me from the deceitful and wicked man. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I will go unto the altar of God, even unto the God of my joy and gladness. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who hath made heaven and earth. I confess to Almighty God, to Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, to Blessed Michael the Archangel, to Blessed St. John Baptist, to the Holy Apostles Peter and Paul, to all the saints and to you, brethren, that I have sinned exceedingly in thought, word, and deed, through my fault, through my own fault, through my own most grievous fault. Therefore I beg, Mary ever Virgin, Michael, Blessed Michael the Archangel, Blessed John Baptist, the Holy Apostles, Peter and Paul, and all the saints and you, brethren, to pray to the Lord our God for me. Mighty God, have mercy upon me, forgive thee thy sins, and bring thee to everlasting life. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy upon you, and forgive you all your sins, and bring you to everlasting life. Amen. The Almighty and merciful Lord grant us pardon and absolution and remission of our sins. Amen. Wilt thou not turn again and quicken us, O God, that thy people may rejoice in thee, Show us thy mercy, O Lord, and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come unto thee. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit. Almighty God, unto whom all hearts be open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly mag- love thee and worthily magnify thy holy name. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We beseech thee, O Lord, by the merits of thy saints, that it may please thee to forgive me all my sins. Kyrie, save me, O Lord, for thy name's sake, and avenge me in thy strength. Hear my prayer, O God, and hearken unto the words of my mouth. For strangers are risen up against me, and tyrants seek after my soul. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Christ eleison, Christ eleison, Christ eleison. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit. Let us pray. Grant, we beseech thee, almighty God, that we who year by year devoutly keep this holy ordinance of fasting may serve thee acceptably both in body and soul. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, who hatest nothing that thou hast made and dost forgive the sins of all them that are penitent, create and make in us new and contrite hearts that we, worthily lamenting our sins and acknowledging our wretchedness, may obtain of thee the God of all mercy, perfect remission and forgiveness, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The lesson from the Book of Kings. In those days there came two women that were harlots unto King Solomon, and stood before him, and the one said, O my Lord, I and this woman dwell in one house, and I was delivered of a child with her in the house, and it came to pass the third day after that I was delivered that this woman was delivered also, and we together, we were together, there was no stranger with us in the house, save we two in the house. And this woman's child died in the night, because she overlaid it, and she rose at midnight and took my son from beside me, while thine handmaid slept, and laid it in her bosom, and laid her dead child in my bosom. And when I rose in the morning to give my child suck, behold, it was dead. But when I had considered it in the morning, behold, it was not my son, which I did bear. And the other woman said, Nay, but the living is my son, and the dead is thy son. And this said, No, but the dead is thy son, and the living my son. 
Thus they spake before the king. Then said the king, The one saith, This is my son that liveth, and thy son is dead. And the other saith, Nay, but thy son is the dead, and my son is the living. And the king said, Bring me a sword. And they brought a sword before the king, and the king said, Divide the living child in two, and give half to the one woman, and half to the other. Then spake the woman whose the living child was unto the king, for she greatly yearned for her son, and said, O oh my lord, give her the living child, and in no wise slay it. But the other said, Let it be neither mine nor thine, but divide it. Then the king answered and said, Give her the living child, and in no wise slay it. She is the mother thereof. And all Israel heard of the judgment which the king had judged, and they feared the king, for they saw that the wisdom of God was to him to do judgment. Here endeth the lesson. Be thou my strong rock and house of defence, that thou mayest save me. In thee, thee, O Lord, have I put my trust. Let me never be put to confusion. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. The continuation of the Holy Gospel according to John. At that time, the Jews' Passover was at hand, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem and found in the temple those that sold oxen and sheep and doves and the changers of money sitting. And when he had made a scourge of small cords, he drove them all out of the temple, and the sheep and the oxen poured out the changers' money and overthrew the tables and said unto them that sold doves, Take these things hence, make not my father's house an house of merchandise. And his disciples remembered that it was written, The zeal of thine house hath eaten me up. Then answered the Jews and said unto him, What sign showest thou unto us, seeing that thou doest these things? Jesus answered and said unto them, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. Then said the Jews, Forty-six years was this temple in building, and wilt thou rear it up in three days? But he spake of the temple of his body. When therefore he was risen from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said unto them, and they believed the scripture and the word that Jesus had said. Now he was in Jerusalem at the Passover in the feast day. Many believed in his name, and when they saw the miracles that he did, but Jesus did not commit himself unto them, because he knew all men, and needed not that any should testify of man, for he knew what was in man. Praise be to thee, O Christ. O be joyful in the Lord, all ye lands, serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with a song. Be sure that the Lord, he is God. O Holy Father, almighty and everlasting God, take thou this spotless host which I, thine unworthy servant, now present, for thou art my living and true God. So let me plead for all my countless sins, wickedness and neglect, and for all those here present, as also for the faithful in Christ, both quick and dead, that it may set forth their salvation and mine, till we gain, attain, attain eternal life. Amen.
O Holy Father, O God who hast laid the foundations of man's being in wonder and honour, and again in greater wonder hast adorned the same, grant that by the mystery of this water and wine, he who shared with us our human nature may make us to be co-heirs of his very Godhead, even Christ thy Son, our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the unity of the Holy Ghost, God for ever and ever. Amen. We here present to thee, O Lord, the cup of salvation and of thy mercy. Grant that in the sight of thy divine majesty it may ascend as a sweet-smelling savour for our salvation and that of the whole world. In a contrite heart and an humble spirit, let us be accepted of thee, O Lord, and so let our sacrifice be this day that it may be pleasing in thy sight, O Lord God. I will wash my hands in innocency, O Lord, and so I will go to thine altar, that I may show the voice of thanksgiving and tell of thy wondrous works. Lord, I have loved the habitation of thy house and the place where thine honour dwelleth. O shut not up my soul with the sinners, nor my life with the bloodthirsty, in whose hands is wickedness and their right hand is full of gifts. But as for me, I will walk innocently. O deliver me and be merciful unto me. My foot standeth right. I will praise the Lord in the congregations. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Receive, O Holy Trinity, this oblation, oblation which we present to thee in memory of the Passion and Resurrection and Ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ, and in honour of the Blessed Virgin Mary, of Blessed John Baptist, of the Holy Apostles Peter and Paul, and of all the saints. Let it be to their honour and our salvation, and grant that while we remember them on earth, in heaven they may plead for us, through the same Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. We beseech thee, O Lord, that this sacrifice which we offer unto thee may evermore avail to quicken and defend us, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Let us pray for the whole state of Christ's church militant here in earth. The Lord receive this sacrifice at thy hands to the praise and glory of his name, both to our benefit and that of all his holy church. Almighty and ever-living God, who by thy holy apostle has taught us to make prayers and supplications and to give thanks for all men, we humbly beseech thee most mercifully to accept our alms and oblations and to receive these our prayers, which we offer unto thy divine majesty beseeching thee to inspire continually the universal church with the spirit of truth, unity, and concord, and grant that all they that do confess thy holy name may agree in the truth of thy holy word and live in unity and godly love. We beseech thee also to save and defend all Christian kings, princes, and governors, and especially thy servant Elizabeth, our queen, that under her we may be godly and quietly governed. And grant unto her whole counsel and to all that are put in authority under her they may truly and indifferently minister justice to the punishment of wickedness and vice and to the maintenance of thy true religion and virtue. Give grace, O Heavenly Father, to all bishops and curates that they may both by their life and doctrine set forth thy true and lively word and rightly and duly administer thy holy sacraments. And to all thy people give thy heavenly grace and specially to this congregation here present that with meek heart and due reverence they may hear and receive thy holy word, truly serving thee in holiness and righteousness all the days of their life. And we most humbly beseech thee of thy goodness, O Lord, to comfort and succour all them who in this transitory life are in trouble, sorrow, need, sickness, or any other adversity. And we also bless thy name for all thy, thy holy name for all thy servants departed this life in thy faith and fear beseeching thee to give us grace so to follow their good examples that with them we may be partakers of thy heavenly kingdom. Grant this, O Father, for Jesus Christ's sake. Our only mediator and advocate. Amen. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto our Lord God. It is meet and right so to do. It is very meet, right, and our bounden duty that we should at all times and in all places give thanks unto thee, O Lord, Holy Father, almighty, everlasting God, because that by our bodily fasting thou dost restrain the vice that is within us, dost raise our minds from things of earth, 
dost renew our strength and reward us with manifold blessings through Jesus Christ our Lord. Therefore with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven we laud and magnify thy glorious name, evermore praising thee and saying, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Glory be to thee, O Lord Most High. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Therefore, gracious Father, through thy Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, we humbly pray and beseech thee to accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and undefiled sacrifices, which first we offer unto thee for thy holy Catholic Church, that thou wouldest vouchsafe to keep it in peace, to guard, unite, and govern it throughout the whole world, together with thy servant, Sarah, our Chief Bishop, and Robert, our Area Bishop, and to all true believers who profess the Catholic and Apostolic faith. Be mindful, O Lord, of thy servants and handmaids, and all here present and dispersed, whose faith is known, whose devotion is manifest unto thee, for whom we offer unto thee, or who themselves do offer unto thee this sacrifice of praise, as for themselves, so also for all to whom they are bound, for the redemption of their souls and the hope of their salvation and safety, who pay their vows unto thee, the eternal God, the living and the true, joining in communion, First, of the same glorious and ever Virgin Mary, Mother of the same Jesus Christ, our Lord and God, as also thy blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon and Thaddeus, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damian, and of all thy saints, by whose merits and prayers do thou grant that we may in all things be defended with the help of thy protection through the same Jesus Christ our Lord. This oblation, therefore, of our boundless service and that of thy family. Which oblation do thou, O God, we beseech thee, vouchsafe in all things to make blessed, approved, ratified, reasonable, and acceptable, that it may become unto us the body and blood of thy most dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who of thy tender mercy didst give thine only Son, Jesus Christ, to suffer death upon the cross for our redemption, who made there by his one oblation of himself once offered a full, perfect and sufficient sacrifice, oblation and satisfaction for the sins of the whole world, and did institute and in his holy gospel command us to continue a perpetual memory of that his precious death until his coming again. Hear our so merciful Father, we most humbly beseech thee, and grant that we, receiving these thy creatures of bread and wine, according to thy Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ's holy institution, in remembrance of his death and passion, may be partakers of his most blessed body and blood, who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread, and when he had given thanks, he brake it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you, do this in remembrance of me. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of this, for this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Do this as oft as ye shall drink it in remembrance of me. Wherefore, O Lord and Heavenly Father, we, thy servants, together with thy holy people, mindful of the blessed passion of thy same Jesus Christ, our Lord, as also of his resurrection from hell, glorious ascension into heaven, do offer unto thine excellent majesty of thine own gifts and bounty, a pure victim, a holy victim, a spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the cup of everlasting salvation, upon which do thou vouchsafe to look with a favourable and gracious countenance, and to accept them even as thou didst accept the gift of thy righteous servant Abel and the sacrifice of the, our patriarch Abraham and the holy sacrifice and spotless victim that thy high priest Melchizedek offered unto thee. We humbly beseech the Almighty God to command these to be brought by the hands of thy holy angel unto thine altar on high in the sight of thy divine majesty that as many of us as shall by this partaking of the altar receive the most sacred body and blood of thy Son, may be, fill, may be filled with all heavenly benediction and grace through the same Christ our Lord. Be mindful also, of, O Lord, of thy servants and handmaids who have gone before us with a sign of faith 
and rest in the sleep of peace. To these, O Lord, and to all that rest in Christ, we beseech thee to grant a place of refreshment, light, and peace. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Unto us sinners also, thy servants, trusting in the multitude of thy mercies, vouchsafe to grant some part and fellowship with thy holy apostles and martyrs, with John, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and with all the saints, within whose holy fellowship we beseech thee to admit us, not weighing our merits, but granting us forgiveness through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom, O Lord, thou dost ever create all good things, dost sanctify, quicken, bless, bestow them upon us, through him, with him, and in him, is unto thee, O God, the Father Almighty, in the unity of the Holy Ghost, ghost all honour and glory throughout all ages, world without end. Amen. Let us pray as our Saviour Christ hath commanded and taught us. We are bold to say, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, we beseech thee, from all evils, past and present and to come. And at the intercession of the blessed and glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God, with thy blessed apostles Peter and Paul, with Andrew and with all the saints, graciously grant us peace in all our days, that by thine availing mercy we may ever both be free from sin and safe from all distress. Through the same, thy Son, our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the unity of the Holy Ghost, world without end. Peace of the Lord be always with you and with thy spirit. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, grant us thy peace. O Lord, thou Jesus Christ, who said to thine apostles, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you. Regard not my sins, but the faith of the church, and grant unto her that peace and unity which is agreeable to thy will, who livest and reignest, God, world without end. Amen. We do not presume to come to this, thy table, O merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in thy manifold and great mercies. We are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs under thy table, but thou art the same, Lord, whose property is always to have mercy. Grant us, therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of thy dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that our sinful bodies may be made clean by his body, and our souls washed through his most precious blood, and that we may evermore dwell in him and he in us. Amen. I will receive the bread of heaven and call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof, but speak the word only, and my soul shall be healed. Body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which was given for thee, preserve thy body and soul unto everlasting life. Take eat in remembrance that Christ died for thee, and feed on him in thy heart by faith, with thanksgiving. Jesus Christ, which was given for thee, preserve thy body and soul unto everlasting life. Drink this in remembrance of Christ's blood was shed for thee, and be thankful.
O Lord, who hast here fed us with the sacrament of our redemption, grant we pray thee that we may thereby grow and increase toward the attainment of our everlasting salvation through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Bow down before the Lord. O Lord, we beseech thee graciously to hear our prayers and grant that we to whom thou hast give us, given an hearty desire to pray may ever be defended by thy mighty power. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The peace of God which passeth all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen.